Allah Azza wa Jal created the human beings in need. One way Allah describes human beings is وَخُلِقَ الْإِنسَانُ ضَعِيفًا The human being was created weak. What that means is we constantly need to replenish ourselves. We can't just eat food once and carry on. Eventually our body consumes the nutrients of that food and the energy needed to continue life hits us. Hunger pangs hits us, hit us again. Thirst hits us again. And we have to replenish ourselves. So physically everybody understands that we need to replenish ourselves continuously in order to survive. The same way human beings are created with emotions. And we have certain emotions or functioning mind, you can't constantly be serious. Or you can't constantly be thinking about the math problem you're trying to solve or the book you're trying to read. You need a mental break. At some point, the brain runs out of juice. It runs out of batteries. And you got to stop and you got to go shoot some basketball or play a video game or do something to take a break. And the same thing happens when you're emotionally stressed. So our minds need a break sometimes. Our body needs a break. And it literally created the night so that it can become subat. The body can take a break and it literally dies so it can recharge, right? And the same way in our emotions, sometimes people are very stressed out and they have a lot of anxiety or they have a lot of negative thoughts and their emotions are overwhelming them and they say, you know what, I need to do something to calm down. And people have different kinds of coping mechanisms most of the time. So they're supposed to be healthy. Some people just do something as simple as take a walk in the park or ride a bike or maybe if they can afford to, they go on a trip or something. Other people choose damaging coping mechanisms, they might turn to drinking or they might turn to drugs and they might turn to inappropriate kinds of company, etc. But every one of these is a kind of, I need a break, I need to recalibrate, I need to reset myself. Psychiatrists and people in the mental health profession, they talk about things like self-care, like you should eat well. And that's true, you should eat well. This is something, that, pretty much an Islamic principle. Allah gave us this body, we should take care of it and we should eat healthy. The same way getting rest and taking care of your physical self, that's something we should do because Allah will ask us about the favors He gave us. And this gift of this body that He gave us, we should take care of it. The same way taking care of your mental health is important. So taking those kinds of breaks, doing things that you find relaxing, whatever it is, you might need to figure out what that is and take care of it. But there's one dimension of it, one side of this problem, of what the human being is. That is something Allah taught us and we could not have known on our own in its entirety is that Allah put a light inside every single human being. Allah put a ruh inside every single human being. And that light is our connection to Allah. From birth, it's our connection to Allah. It's somewhere inside your heart. You and I have it, and it connects us directly to Allah. The Muslims, the non-Muslims, it doesn't matter. Everybody has it. Every single one of us has it. But I'm, today I'm talking about Muslims. I'm talking about people who also know about the other light. There's a light inside of us, and there's a light that Allah sent down from himself, and that's called the Quran. فَآمِنُوا بِاللَّهِ وَرَسُولِهِ وَالنُّورِ الَّذِي أَنزَلْنَا Believe in Allah, believe in His Messenger, and believe in the light that we sent down. Right? So there's two lights now. There's a light inside us, and there's a light of Allah's words. And these lights have to come into contact with each other. Because the light inside also starts running out. It starts getting weak. It needs to get recharged, just like your body and my body needs to get recharged. Just like our emotions need a break. They need to replenish. The same way, the, the light inside of us, this ruh, needs to be replenished. And it's replenished by the word of Allah. A simple way of thinking about that is, our body Allah created from clay. And so all of its needs, from the earth. And so all of our body's needs come from the earth. And our hearts are connected to people. And so our emotion, a lot of times our emotional needs are met by people around us. A child needs a mother's love. A spouse needs to be feel like they're respected and valued and loved and cared for and protected. Those are emotional needs. They come from other human beings. But our ruh, it came from the heavens. It has its own needs. And its needs can only be met by the source. And that's the word of Allah. Now what happens is sometimes someone says, I can't sleep. I have anxiety. I, don't, I can't find any peace. I've tried everything. I tried taking walks. I tried working out. I tried you know, playing video games. I tried this, that, and the other. I've done all the relaxation exercises there can be. I'm going to therapy. I'm doing everything I can, but I still don't find any peace inside me. I'm not okay. Something inside me is still bothering me. And maybe the reason, it may not be, but maybe the reason is that the ruh inside you and me, the light inside you and me, we're violating it. We're doing something wrong to it. It meets with the word of Allah, and the word of Allah wants us to take a certain road. And we don't want to take that road. We don't want to go on the road that this light is calling us towards. 
So we deny our light inside and we say, no, I'm going to go a different direction.